Hi lovely people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be re reviewing a fragrance from House of Chanel and this is their less exclusive line. The fragrance is called Sycamore. And the first of all, the credit where it's due. Uh, thank you Fragrance BD for sending me this precious sample. Uh, I bought quite a few fragrances recent times and they have been uh, spoiling me with a lot of samples that you could, could see a few days back. I did review Coromandel, okay? This fragrance got 10 out of 10 perfection. This is also like from the niche line. This is the less exclusive, like the Chanel's niche line. And I think Dior's is called Privé, right? So every designer house now, they have the upper class line. Yelan, uh, Carina Herrera. Uh, I think they also have, uh, what are the houses? Uh, some of the houses, Prada, they have their other upper class line. So Sycamore basically is one of the big names, okay? I'm pretty sure this is uh, unisex style as like there are many other fragrances offering from less exclusives, but I don't know anything uh, from this line. I don't own none of them because they're super expensive. I don't know which one to buy. I really have to love something. So Sycamore, let's see how this one goes. And the fragrance sample, I think is 1.5 mil. Okay, at the back it mentions this is official sample. If you buy perfumes, they give you free at boutique, but in Bangladesh, usually you do not get this sample. So inside, this is the sample. It's a sprayable sample. It says Les Exclusives de Chanel, a Paris, and the bottle will be the silhouette of the bottle is like this. So very simplistic bottle. I believe they have magnetic tops. I'll put a picture of this perfume. I already have it on my hand for some time. It's drying down, and I want to talk about Sycamore. So I'm sorry I'm not facing the camera. I want to make it short and sweet. All right, I'll let you know what I think about this. So just because it's a Chanel perfume, it, it does not guarantee you you're going to love this perfume. Do you know, I like many times people make this mistake. They think like, oh, Chanel, Dior, big house names, you know, you're going to love every single fragrance. It doesn't happen because um, their houses, they have different offerings like Dior's Privé line. They have leather oud. They have a uh, few other perfumes like uh, Amre, something. I forgot their names, but I remember I like a few of their perfumes but not all uh, and uh, when you think of uh, like your taste your taste have to be uh, same as the perfume for you to like it right so sycamore is a perfume kind of surprised me do you know why when i sprayed this it immediately reminded me of something that i own already two fragrances i'm going to show you uh, first fragrance and i actually checked with fragrantica my nose was not wrong first fragrance it was lalix ancre noir uh, this is a niche perfume in my book i call a niche when it has the quality this one is a vetiver inky note it has a cypress okay i think uh very dark smoky incense sort of vetiver it's a very mysterious gothic fragrance okay this one is the first one second fragrance it reminds me of is uh think lunar vetiver okay uh, it's not same okay but these two fragrances it has elements of sycamore so i'm just giving you reference but let me review it and I'll let you know if there are other notes that I get. A potential spray. Uh, I think I got a little bit of citrus. A uh, little bit of a citrusy, bitter orange sort of opening. But that goes away very, very quickly. The citruses do not stay. It immediately rolls with vetiver and cypress. Uh, I think there was juniper, patchouli maybe um, from top of my head. Uh, the ones I saw was a little bit of incense smoke. Um, and there was this note of, uh, damn, what was it? Uh, I think perhaps uh, tobacco or something like it. But I don't remember. But I think that the tobacco is the addition in this, apart from the um, Lalik Ancre Noir or Amarud uh, Lunar Vetiver. Those two are missing that vetiver, I mean, tobacco note for me. Okay. Uh, the fragrance longevity is okay. It's not super loud, not super beast mode. It wears very tender where it's very uh, like with a lot of care. Uh, what I mean by that is it's not a loud perfume for me. Some people it will be a deal breaker. Some people you would like it. Uh, but I think this is a very classy up class sort of fragrance for classy evenings. Uh, for me, personally speaking, Coromandel uh, lasted better on my skin. This one has a better longevity and projection. Sycamore was okay, somewhere in the seven out of 10. Um, this fragrance is not for everybody. This is definitely not for everybody. You really have to be in your a little bit gothic, dark, uh, winter sort of style sort of fragrance. You have to try a lot of niche perfumes to appreciate this. This one, it's not your typical uh, vetiver uh, based perfume that is easy to rock or uh, elementary level. This perfume you should wear when I think you have gone through two, three years of fragrances. You have gone through a lot of vetiver perfumes. Uh, if you could wear, uh, let's say, fragrances like Pegasus in a cold day, uh, not the same perfume again, but 
perform primarily Pegasus, I find it very gloomy, very metallic, very uh, one-sided, like not everybody likes that. And this fragrance is the same thing, okay? Not everybody's gonna like it. But I like the quality that this one produces. It has this nice smoothness about it, the smokiness. It doesn't really quite become like black Afghano sort of incense, okay? Uh, black Afghano has a very animalic sort of a dark tone. This one remains like a winter evening when the weather is not very hostile, okay? Uh, the fragrance can be worn with proper t-shirt, well-made t-shirts where you have Penhaligan fragrances. You know, I forgot the name. Penhaligan's uh, perhaps... Uh, I don't remember Pen Heligan has one fragrance that is good for tailors, well made suits. Reminds me of that perfume, okay? Okay, the fragrance is very nice. Its transition is very, very smooth. That's what I like about Chanel. The quality is just top notch. Ingredients use very, very good. But uh, this fragrance overall, you know, my honest opinion, I would give this like a solid 8 out of 10, okay? Uh, because it's not the same quality, but spending much much less you can get something very close to it which is once again uncanoo i'm not saying this is as good as this but for the money spent this one will get you about 80 percent of the feel of sycamore that's what i personally feel if you if i'm wrong if you feel differently about your uh, chanel i'm sorry but i'm a practical person and i would say if you have uncanoo you already know how what to expect this is just more smoother version of this one but this equally respect look at that bottle presentation everything is you cannot put it down okay and if you want a little bit of cleaner version without the tobacco i would say go for lunar vetiver this also has a very nice bottle it's a niche perfume okay so very nice presentation and all that okay but again eight out of ten for sycamore it will be good for unisex it will be good for upper class occasion early fall days winter time uh, but it will wear a little bit light on me at least on me, I am seeing. But other people, if you're getting beast, good for you, okay? So thanks very much for watching. Thank you so much, Fragrance BD, for so much love and support. I really appreciate it, okay? It means a lot in my journey. I'll see you soon. Calling it a night tonight. And a good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.